Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today what we are going to be doing is actually playing some FIFA 19 and it's to do with the loan cards. We're going to be looking at this 197 rated squad that I've managed to put together from all the loan cards that we've been looking at um, getting for the last three weeks. So if you do enjoy the video, please do subscribe for more FIFA 19 and in particular more FIFA 20 content coming in the upcoming week. I think we've got the demo FIFA ratings tomorrow so I'll be uploading as soon as I can reacting to them ratings. Hopefully it brings a hype for FIFA 20. I think we've been lacking a bit lately but I think things like this are obviously there to build the hype. And if you do enjoy please do drop a like on the video but let's get straight into it. So here we go then. Now the squad is a bit strange. There are a few players that have missed out and I'll talk about in a minute but I think it's quite nice to be able to experience a team like this I think if you put this team together, it would be worth absolutely millions, even at the end stage of the game. One of the players which does feature in goal is Fabri Fabricio, Fabricio, whatever you, however you pronounce it. He is in goal and he's probably one of the more random ones. And it's just because I'm working on limited funds. I just thought, throw him in. He gets a bit of chemistry. You're not caring about the goalkeeper in this team. We probably, if we put, say, an Edison in, could have got a higher rating, but I just thought, put him in there, he's in the club, why not? On to the players that actually are the ones we actually care about. We've got a full loan squad, so let's have a look. We've got Van Dijk, one of the best centre-backs, if not the best centre-back. Whenever I come up against him, I find him so hard to get past. I've got team of the season, Salah, he struggles to get by him. Mbappe, team of the year, he gets bullied sometimes. It's crazy how good this card has been, and I think his 90 rated card has been leaked for FIFA 20. We'll find out if that's official in the upcoming days, but I can't wait to try him out on FIFA 20. He looks insane. The space card stats, and can you imagine if he gets a few informs? Will be one of my favourite players, I think, in FIFA 20. Up next, we have Rafa Varane. Now, I've used 10 games on him already on the team of the year in Foot Champions. Really, really like the card. 90 pace on a centre back is ridiculous. 6 foot 3. I think Varane is one of the best centre-backs in this game and I love the team of the year design. If you guys really, really, do you guys agree with that? I really think it's one of the best designs we've had all year. Team of the year, just nice and simple but very clean. We have team of the year Sergio Ramos now. He is just an absolute beast. Feels incredible in-game. 96 stamina but we don't really care. 96 marking, 99 stand tackle, 99 slide tackle. He is one of the best centre-backs as well. Up next, onto the attackers. Now, this is a strange one. We've got Mohamed Salah, obviously 97 rated, not a 99, 98. But Mohamed Salah, I've got his red card in my club. This is my friend's account I'm just using because he hasn't used any of the loan cards. I've played all the games in Foot Champions, so didn't have any left. But Mohamed Salah is really, really enjoyable. 99 finishing. He's got the pace. He's just excellent. He's got the dribbling, and his weak foot has been improved. Do you think it'll be three-star on FIFA 20? I think they'll remain with three-star, but... Obviously, he's done really, really well last year. I think he'll get a 90-rated card. I think that has been confirmed. Up next, we have Luka Modric. Now, this 99-rated card is one of those that, in the draft, whenever I get it, I just enjoy it so much. He's really, really good attacking-wise, and I think playing him in a camp position is more suited to him, but 99-rated because he got the Ballon d'Or. Look at them stats. Just nothing wrong with them. All green. We've only got a few light greens with heading accuracy. Not really heading with Modric. He's finishing 89, nice pace, really, really good. Looking forward to using him. Pele up next, and for me, Pele, I think I used him in the World Cup mode, and I'm just not convinced by, sometimes he does flashes of brilliance, but overall, if I was paying that much to actually have the card, I wouldn't really be too impressed. I think you can get a very similar uh, for a lot less coins. Obviously, his stats speak for themselves, 99 finishing. The dribbling is insane, the pace. But for me, I'm not really sure how well I really enjoyed this card. Up next, we have Eden Hazard. Now, I haven't used this card at all. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube use him and really, really enjoyed using the card. So I hope they have a good experience. The other attacker, we have Mbappe, team of the year. Just insane. Don't need to say much about this card. All the team of the year att attackers were just insane. And I can't wait to actually do a bit of content on the FIFA 20 team of the years. Up next, we have Prime R9. So, well, the Prime Icon moments R9. Every time I come up against him, he scores. So hopefully for me, he does do the same. Bit strange, 88 stamina, even on a Prime Icon moments card. But the pace is nearly maxed out. Shooting is insane. Passing, good. Dribbling, insane. 5-star, five 5-star. Five 
medium, medium work rate. What much more can you ask for? Six foot. He looks like the perfect striker. We have the other Brazilian five-star, five-star next to him, and that is Neymar. Used his card, used his team of the season, the cam card, for ages because I got the 100 game loans, and he was just ridiculous. And the bench, obviously, is just as a, there. Ronaldo, Griezmann, Messi, Royce, Aguero, Young Minson, and Havertz. Few cards do miss out getting into the starting 11, but I wanted to sort of make it a well balanced team, but at the same time, I didn't just want to put players in off chemistry. I think a few are on eight but and a one on seven. But we don't really mind that. That is a team. And what we're actually going to be trying to do in this video is trying to get the 100k pack. I think you just have to win two games um, by two goals. So we're going to be trying to do that. Let's see if we can do it to get the 100k pack. And let's just get into the live games. So here we go then into the first game with this team. Now is he going to get a shock when he sees our team? No, I'm getting a shock seeing his. Regular Jaden Sancho is a weird one. Um, Ribery, very nice. Johan Cruyff, Werner, he's got a 90 rated Renato Sanchez, haven't come up against him before so it'll be interesting to see how he does actually play. I think what we're going to do is stay in the 3 back formation, haven't used it much at all this year, only in draft, so let's see how it does do in division rivals. I don't think you can get a much better attack than this, R9, Pele, Mbappe, Neymar, and the defence is absolutely solid too, so hopefully we can score a lot of goals. Like I say, we need to win by two. The only problem is our midfield and goalkeeper are a bit... Well, the midfield's not weak, but it's not very defensive. Pele and Modric. And the goalkeeper, as you've seen at the start, is one of the worst. Eden Hazard's absolutely flying there. That's the benefit of playing two wingers overlapping. It's better than a fullback overlapping. Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Oh, that was nearly, nearly a lovely, lovely goal. Eden Hazard feels ridiculous already. I think um, Nick28 T packed his red team of the season, didn't he? That, that is just such good pack look. Come on, Pele. Into Eden Hazard. He's feeling brilliant already. Even playing in that left mid position, he's getting forward more than Neymar. What a lovely pass. No. Primary 9. Oh, 9. What a goal. I swear, every time he shoots, he scores. Every time I come up against him, he's like my worst nightmare for champions. But that was a lovely goal. Just a little flick over the defender. Time finesse, and that's a great start. I just knew he would score for me. I think a few people have sort of um, said he's not one of the best cards, but nah, everyone who uses him against me just has so much success. And looks like we're going to have the same success with him. Oh no, Ramos getting out jumped by Werner. Not the start we wanted. Somehow managed to get back into the game. Just a good, simple cross, really. And, uh, yeah, Ramos isn't the tallest, is he? Come on, Pele. Pele with the skills. And the low driven. Ah, see? That's where I just expect him. 99 rate. He should just be. That should just be an easy goal, in my opinion. Oh, no, and he's everywhere, man. He's absolutely massive. Oh, what a save, and it's a penalty. Don't know how that's a penalty, to be fair. I didn't see it too much. Just a bit of trickery with R9, but he feels so strong against Van Dijk. Pele, the main man. I'm going to do my regular penalty. Finally, the last five penalties I think I've took, they've all hit the post because I'm looking to sort of curl it into that post. And they've all just flew back out, so good to get that one. We're away again. Surely this can't be three. Go on, Neymar. Going to flick it up. I know Mbappe's heading is ridiculous. Oh, Pele. There we go. He stepped up. Two goals in two minutes. And it looks like we're on track to get the uh, objective in the first game. Only one game left with Pele after this one. So we'll have to do it in two if we're going to do it with him. Pele is doing that defensive work now. He's really stepping it up. He wants to stay in the team. R9. Feels smooth on the ball. Neymar. Oh. Oh my god, he's gone for the bike. Go on, R9. Let's go. Can he score a solo goal? I think he can. He has, he has it in the locker. Go on, R9. There we go. What a player, man. One of the best cards I've used all year. Just feels absolutely broken. No wonder his card is so expensive. I didn't think the Primeica moments would really make massive um, 
impact on how the player felt, but he has just felt ridiculous. It feels like he, every shot he has is going to be a goal, and I think this guy's going to rage quit, I think. Yeah, so there we have it. Rage quit in the first game, and we're going to get into a second. Into the second game, and this guy's got a really, really nice team. One of the ones you don't see too often. He's gone for Torres, Figo, Overmars, Zola, Iniesta, Veron, true icons. His front six is pretty much, you could classify them all as icons. Godin, um, Tostegan, Navas, Gaia. Very, very nice team. Let's see how he performs against this 197 icon team. Don't know if anyone can really match this team, to be honest, unless you're using the same long cards that I am. Go on, Ramos. One against... Yes, that's why he is probably up there next to Van Dijk as being the best defender on this game. Haven't used Maldini, so he doesn't enter the question for me. It's between Van Dijk and Varane. Go on, Salah. Oh, yeah, that's a foul ref, surely. Well, that was a dive then. Well, it was one of the most dramatic falls I've ever seen. Oh my days, how has that not gone in? Neymar, come on. This guy started well against me, definitely better than the last player. He's got a good solid team too, but I'm not sure how his icons really do match up against the ones we've got. Not some of the most overused players this year. Haven't really seen too much of Zola, or Veron in fact. And remember, these cards are so expensive at the start of the year as well. No wonder they aren't very often used. Go on, into... Oh, I tried to get it into R9 when I should have just had the shot. Yeah, these icons are worth so much at the start of FIFA as well, so... If you're tempted at the start of FIFA 20, just think, are they really going to be that good? Even though they obviously are an icon. Pele, nice little solo run there. It's through again. Need to just look for the pass or get the shot away. Pele, time for Ness. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I thought that was a beautiful run. Pele looking for Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Good touch. Can he do something against Navas? Hasn't been able to the last few attacks. Oh, a bit too fast for me to even there. Uh... Come on, Van Dijk. Prove to me that you are the best centre-back on this game. No way. No way. Oh, my days. We're going to have to make some changes because this three at the back formation has been absolutely terrible. Come on, Neymar. Too many times you've had the ball, done very little. Havertz trying to get the shot away, but we've got a corner. We've got our nine. Can he do the business? Going to put him at that near post. Swing it in. R9. Oh, he had the run on it as well, man. Missed it by so much. Please. We need to, <laughs> we need to score three goals, and it's not going to happen. I've just realised... And he's going to score again. Oh my god, what a goal with Torres. Jesus Christ. What a goal. We've actually been beaten, it looks like anyway, by Fernando Torres, Figo and Veron. What a goal. The keeper should be doing better, but that was a really, really nice goal to be fair. And we have struggled. I don't know why we've struggled so much against this guy. We've got a penalty, so... Probably won't mean much, R9 drawing in the penalty, but it looks like, ultimately, team doesn't mean a lot, and we're going to hopefully put this away with Verts. Oh my god, I've hit the post. Like I said in the last one, I'm putting it too close to the post, that is absolutely terrible. But yeah, team doesn't mean everything, and it's just really, really highlighted it to me, I think at the start of FIFA 20, I'm not going to just spend so much on having an insane team because if there are players I do come up against and we do lose yes we might lose because they have few better players than me but overall I should win most matches just based on being the better player not that I'm, I'm the best player just mean the ones that I should win I will win um, and we probably will lose out a couple of times where we've just been out teamed but it doesn't really matter we've hit the bar and R9 where's your reactions man Swing it back in. Van Dijk. Ah, we've got the consolation. 93rd minute. We don't uh, We don't not score with the team, which is good. But, yeah, just ultimately that sums it up. Team isn't everything. Now, 
Have I enjoyed using this 197 team? Yes, in the first game, really, really enjoyed it. In this game, not so much. I think the problem was the defence wasn't there. We've got Van Dijk, Ramos and Varane, but no fullbacks. See, we had Trent and we had uh, Alba on the right and left. We would do a lot better. There'd be a lot more balance with the team. So we've had to take out Pele for Messi, and we've had to take out Van Dijk, and we've actually just put in Kante. Why not? We just need this team. Get me one last win, two goals. Hopefully we can come up against a team which isn't as good as the last one, and just get a quick rage quit because division rivals at this time of year I just, Fever 20 predictions tomorrow, I just can't wait, can't wait for the demo to come out, can't wait to just be playing a new game, and this guy's got an insane team, so it is going to be a struggle for me, hopefully we can get the win, he's got, just, this is a well balanced team, but it's just got the excellent players all over the pitch, hopefully we can get the win with this lone FC, 197 squad, but we will see. Kante is feeling quite good at centre back, actually, I can't lie, I don't think I've ever played him there, but with that CDM card, you... That, that that team of the year card, you could pretty much play him any position in my opinion. Go on Messi. Oh, right, here we go. He scored from a corner in the last game. Can we score the same with this one? Not with a corner like that, man. He's gone for the bicycle, but I'm trying to play near post, not on the edge of the box. What a pass from Modric and that is 1-0. That is the quality of Modric, just what a through ball, and Ronaldo, he's never going to miss, is he? Just a lovely, lovely time through pass. And that's what you get from top tier teams. And I said in the last game, yes, it's not all about the team, but aren't many players who could play a pass that well. And team of the year, Luka Modric just did it so easily. In my mind, I knew what I wanted to do, and it just, for once, it actually came out on the pitch. Go on, Eden. Show me the skills. The dancing. Another penalty. How many penalties? Three penalties in three games. And it just shows when you have them tricky players. Haven't really been able to do too much in this match. And then we've just come alive when we've been on the counter-attack. Just a few little step-overs there from Hazard. And Van Dijk was enough for me to make him dive in. Now, got Modric on this one. And we're going to switch it up, I think. Put it down the middle. And he's read it. So, penalties are always my weak point. Oh, Messi hasn't been in this game much. Can he come alive? Time for Ness. Get up, Messi. No, no, Messi, please. Oh, no, he doesn't miss. What a scrappy goal, man. I don't know what the hell was going on there. Messi was just lying on the floor. Hasn't been in the game at all. And this guy looks to be a bit downbeat after being 2-0. I think he doesn't deserve to be maybe 2-0 down. But we've took our chances, especially with Ronaldo. He doesn't miss at all. Um... And we're going to actually bring on Marco Royce because I haven't used him at all. So we're going to bring him on for Salah. And we're going to bring on Havertz for Modric. Because just love them two players. Two German players and I hope to get them in my FIFA 20 squad for the first weekend league. Wonder how expensive they'll be. I think Modric and Havertz will be about... Oh man, it's just hard. I think, is Royce like an 89 rated, 90 rated in FIFA 20? He could be around 500k. Havertz could be around 100 in my opinion, even if he's an 84 rated card. We've seen it before. Don't think that, I think the hype of the team of the year card will make his card just so expensive. And I just think he'll be excellent. Four star, skill moves, five star, weak foot. Will just be amazing, his base card. Hopefully he does another good season. Gets a lot of special cards. Dancing around there, and he's going to get a goal for his German teammate, Marco Royce. The two subs linking up so nicely. It's a shame I haven't been able to use them more this year, because I think they're both, obviously, of two of the best cards in foot. That was a good save from the goalkeeper, the 80 rated. Kante, oh my days, what a finish. Two games and the two goals that my opponents have scored, that Torres one and that one there, have been really, really nice finishes. Marco Royce up against Alonso. Alonso's not the quickest. Come on, oh. come on. I'm going for the obvious things. Need to stop. Havert. No. Havert. No. Neymar. Yes, come on. Didn't go to the right player, but we do manage to get the finish away with Neymar, and hopefully that secures the 100k. But can you imagine if we actually pack something insane out of that? 
probably be my last 100k pack for FIFA 20. For FIFA 20? For FIFA 19. Hopefully not for FIFA 20. Hopefully we'll be getting them uh, quite frequently in Rivals and Weekend League as well. If we finish Gold 1 every week, that'll be, that'll be lovely. We've got complete control now. Come on. Ronaldo. Oh, I went for the cheeky finish. I don't think I've scored one of them apart from with Cristiano Ronaldo's team of the year. It was the last time we scored one of them. It's been quite a while. Hervert, left foot. <laughs> he just doesn't miss. That's the thing with these Hervert and Ronaldo. I swear they just never miss when they play against me. And in these like three matches that I've played, Ronaldo, yes, he's made a few misses, but overall, what a card. And it looks like, well, for definite for now, we're going to get the 100k pack. And it's just been fun playing with this team in Rivals. It's just been Ronaldo, again, 6-1, just doesn't miss. It's just been fun to test out some of the players that I haven't really used much at all. Used a bit of them in the draft, played a lot of the draft, but not to an extent of actually feeling like you own them in your club almost. Hat-trick for Ronaldo, and he was excellent. And Royce was really, really nice as well. Royce and Havertz, the two subs, did link up. And I hope you've enjoyed the three games of highlights that I did actually manage to get with this team. It was really, really fun to use. Um, I hope you do have the packs in your club and you have these players. If you still have, put an insane team together and just test it out in Rivals. Obviously, it's uh, FIFA 20 so soon, so everyone's just looking something to do. This could be something to fill a bit of time. And we've actually got the packs here, so let's have a look. So we've won three. We get a Prime Gold Players Pack and a Rare Players Pack. So, let's see. So Oh, it's a Rare Players Pack. So, yeah. Is there not a... I thought it was a 100k pack. Oh, it's already been done. Oh, sorry. I lied. It was a 50k pack. Hopefully we can get something good anyway. We'll open the Prime. But yeah, that will probably be my last FIFA 19 gameplay that I upload to the channel. It's been really, really fun year on FIFA. Obviously the gameplay has been hit and miss. Pack luck has been poor. But I have really enjoyed it. I can't wait to get started on FIFA 20. Uploading every day. We don't get a walkout. Hopefully the pack look can be better in FIFA 20. We get boards, Spanish, centre mid. I'd say, uh, no, it's not great. But that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what these players can do in uh, FIFA 19. The top tier players. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow with the FIFA 20 ratings. I can't wait. See you later.